like everyone, including the pie shop down the street. We're here for you. So, because the features are so neat, let's take a look at Tableau 2020.2. Hi, it's George from Ablaze. Off YouTube for a while, no particular reason. We work at home, so we know how to do it. The hair is a little bit longer. Probably just waiting for some of the craziness in the world to calm down. That's probably not going to happen anytime soon. So let's just get back into the video. Tableau 2020.2 out now for a few days. A relatively short beta cycle and the new release out quickly. Some nice new features. Let's take a look. The first place you'll encounter changes is in data connections. One data connection has been renamed. It's now Azure Synapse Analytics. If you are using an Oracle database, Oracle spatial fields are now recognized. And also along the spatial line, Esri ArcGIS server is a new data connection. We'll paste an ArcGIS server URL in and connect. Pick a table from the ArcGIS server. Go to a new sheet and visualize the shape. ArcGIS, one of the new features in Tableau 2020.2. Next, something called relationships. And this is probably the biggest change in 2020.2. I'm going to connect to a SQL Server database. And drag one table to the canvas. And when I drag the second table to the canvas, I get a different kind of a line. It's referred to as a noodle. And this is the beginning of the changes here in Data Connection. Relationships covered in an entirely separate video. When that video is ready, I'll have a link in the upper right side of the screen. But relationships, probably the biggest new feature in 2020.2. Next is set control. This is yeah, a moderately interesting feature. It is only available for Tableau Desktop. I have created a set, and in particular, a set control only works with a calculated set. In this case, what I call profitable subcategories. I'm going to edit the set, and we'll see that the set consists of a condition. Profit summed is greater than zero. A calculated set will permit a set control. A fixed set will not. I've gone ahead and dragged the in out of that set on color on the marks card. And I can see that all categories except bookcases, supplies, and tables are profitable. Now, if I go to the set in the data pane and drop down arrow, there is now an option to show set. It looks like an interactive filter. You see it over here on the right side of the screen. There's a drop down arrow. And as with an interactive filter, there's an option to make it a single value list or a single value drop down, multiple value options as well. This now shows options for adding or removing members of this set interactively. It is not filtering the set, which were the options that you had previously. You may simply manually remove or add additional members to the set interactively on the screen. This permits viewers to do more set interaction in a visualization initially on desktop. And if this is saved to server, the set control will be available there as well. Next, a little slight change to explain data. 2020.2 providing a little bit of change to explain data. In particular, you now have the option here at the bottom of the explain data dialog box to see which dimensions or measures explained data is making use of and the ability to uncheck or check and add or remove additional fields from the explained data option. Learning Tableau on YouTube is great. It's fast and it's free. But if you need more detail and have a group to train, consider courseware from Ablaze. Tableau Server, Tableau Desktop, and a variety of expertise levels. And this courseware is very high quality. Lots of detail, lots of real world information, and lots of terrific hands-on exercises. If you have a large group to train, let us know. Contact information up above for courseware, custom courseware, train the trainer, and custom training options. 
Next, let's move on to Tableau Server 2020, where there's some fairly interesting changes as well. Let's explore. I'm going to go to a project and have a couple of data sources here. And I'm going to click one of these data sources, which takes me to my Ask Data area, the freeform data analysis feature of Tableau Server. Now, I see an initial set of possible questions to ask, sum of discount by category, date and time areas here that I can expand in order dates year by order dates year and so forth, some suggested filters and some suggested viz types. Now, all these categories can now be modified and tweaked in server 2020.2. Notice the pencil and plus icons. The pencil allows me to edit the title of an area. So rather than basic data analysis, I might change this category to initial questions to ask. And it just changes that category name to something else. I can now remove one of the suggested questions with an X. I can add a suggested question with a plus sign where I begin something like sum of profit by segment. And it adds that as an option to my questions to ask category. So if I'm a data source owner or a Tableau server administrator, options for customizing the initial categories and options from Ask Data. The next 2020.2 Ask Data feature is in the ability to share what we call synonyms or predefined data from Ask Data. So for example, I have two data connections on this server that both contain a common field. And I might have many data connections that contain common fields. And I want to use similar terminology, particularly for what I call synonyms. Synonyms are substitute field names, or maybe home, which would be the city that your uh, company is headquartered in, or the state that your company is headquartered in. But in this case, I'm going to take the region dimension, and I'm going to go ahead and set what's called a synonym for it, a substitute word that someone can type in to refer to region. I'm going to refer to it as area and add that synonym. Now, area and region will mean the same thing when someone's typing in some Ask Data information. Now, if I have other data connections that also contain region fields and I want to apply the same area synonym to them, I do not have to go perform the same synonym assignment over and over. I can assign synonyms throughout my data connection, and then I can create what's called a data role. I'm going to publish a role called geography to a project, publish. And those synonyms have now been published in that data role. And if I go back to my project, I will see a couple of data roles here. Here's a sales-oriented data role and the geography data role, along with my data connections. Let's go to another data connection that also has a region dimension in it. And I want to apply that same synonym without having to type it all in again. So I'm going to go ahead and edit the synonym for region, but now simply apply an existing data role, in this case, geography. And that synonym from that role is now assigned to the region dimension here as well. So custom synonyms, shared synonyms, and data roles new in 2020.2 server. Next, the ability to kind of reorder the way your favorites appear. This isn't a super big deal, but initially they're ordered, I believe, in A to Z order. But I can actually just now drag and drop my favorite sheets or my favorite workbooks in a different order and just manually reorder them. Next up, something called metrics. This is a, a feature that you might see in some other dashboarding tools. I'm going to go to just one particular worksheet where there's some numbers I want to kind of follow from a higher level. I don't want to have to come into the worksheet and find a particular number. I'm going to just take this one particular number in this cross tab, select it, come up to the top and pick metrics. It now takes the number I selected, sets that as a previewed metric, it's sales in furniture in September of 2019. I can see that it's a month of order date dimension. There's the measure. If I want to give it a description, I can. And now I can go ahead and simply create that metric. Now, if I go back to my project, 
here is a metric alongside dashboards, worksheets, and other views. I can just see it at a glance. If I have several metrics, I'll see them going across the top. And I can simply click that metric and see originally where it came from. I can interactively check other values from that same measure. And if that metric changes, something happens in the data, that will be reflected back here in the project as Tableau Server updates the values of metrics on a regular basis. And last but not least, downloading dashboard worksheets. This is not a super big deal, but I'll show it to you. In previous versions, when you went to download, in particular, a cross tab, you had to select a sheet in the dashboard before you chose this option. In 2020.2, when you choose cross tab, you now get to select the sheet, and that simply now picks that worksheet and downloads the cross tab. So there's Tableau 2020.2. Not a huge new release, but some very nice features. Probably the most notable, relationships. A whole nother video dedicated just to that coming up soon watch for that. Thanks for watching. Consider us for your professional services needs for SAP Business Objects or Tableau. Subscribe to the channel to see more. Get contact info and web information up there. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon.